Warning, today's video showcases the worst use of magic items in the history of Clash of Clans. So this is the very first account I ever created in Clash of Clans and has been fully maxed out Town Hall 14 since January of 2022. So you know exactly what's gonna have to take place today, boys. This is the reason why my parents never gave me a credit card. Let's check out these special offers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you serious? 50 million gold in one pack? Oh my gosh. But let's do this first because I am quite certain that there's going to be a Town Hall 15 pack. So let's spend off some of these gold. We got 29 million right now, so we should be good like that. Ooh, new buildings. I like that. 12 day upgrade. Don't worry about it. We do have a book of building. Matter of fact, I'm not entirely sure how many magic items I have. I started saving up some magic items like two or three months ago. Probably didn't start early enough. But let's see what we got in here. We got potions for days. We got some books. We got some runes and some hammers. I think we should be good to go. But let's go check out the packs now. Ooh, level three spell tower and the monolith a rune of gold, and two books of everything for a whopping $50. I'm going to spend some money. I'll be right back. <laughs> it's actually checking to see if I really want to make this purchase. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but that was super exciting. The remorse will happen later on tonight. Right now, I think we're good. So we did build this progress base last night for my clanmates. I did shoot it out on Twitter and the community tab on YouTube for you guys. Let's go ahead and place our new spell tower that we got in that pack. Let's go ahead and place the monolith and that will be level one. We need to upgrade it again, of course. We also got uh, new skins. So let's go ahead and put the barbarian king skin on that one's actually really cool i like the animation on the grand warden if i remember correctly so let's put the queen on that one's <laughs> who is she waving at <laughs> are you serious okay and then grand warden who looks like an archangel or something like really cool animation well done on these skins guys you did phenomenal and then jumping into that royal champion just like this right here oh she's gonna summon <laughs> wow look at this chick <laughs> she's brutal all right so we got our storages lined up in the first session we got some resources but i also bought some gems about a hundred dollars worth of gems just for like uh the fact that i don't want to use books for certain things and i think we're gonna go ahead and start by doing our elixir our dark elixir storage elixir storage and then we're gonna move into our gold storages, just like this. So we're spending off a little bit of that gold. We had a ton of resources. So let's go ahead and do the gold storages now. My gosh, we just chewed through so many gems by doing that. <laughs> oh my God. But we did preserve some of our books. I think we, uh, we're just going to have to live with that decision. That was probably a horrible idea. All right, so moving into these buildings with the laboratory and the clan castle. Obviously, with the clan castle, it's a 16 million elixir upgrade, and it's going to cost 16 days. We do gain that additional five housing space. We're not going to use resources. We're just going to go ahead and swing a hammer of building to complete that upgrade and be done with it outstanding but the laboratory on the other hand we're gonna have to go ahead and use a book so 10 million elixir spent and we're gonna use that book of building to complete it now one of the best parts about going to the new town hall level is the fact that we have those boosts for the next five days so we need to spend off these resources and then take advantage of those higher level troops of course moving into army camps next upgrading these will give us 20 more housing <laughs> so we're gonna have to spend off some elixir like this oh my gosh 15.2 million elixir are you serious right now we're gonna burn up so much elixir we haven't even tapped into gold yet wow oh my gosh that's crazy let's go ahead and finish that right now with the book and let's see what we got in our treasury so we do have some resources in the treasury about 6.2 million on the elixir and gold we'll pull the elixir out and then i think we're gonna have to jump into some raid metals before we spend any runes you know what i mean 
let's just go ahead and do this. So army camp number two, and we're going to need more elixir. Oh, no. Already? <laughs> that was so fast. Uh, <laughs> already? <laughs> Give me more. I need more. Give me more elixir. All right, 11. All right, we're up to 14.3. We're going to have a little bit of overage on this one. All right, 16.8. Back to the army camp. We're going to have to move some of this stuff out of our way so we can see what's going on here. There we go. Book of building complete. Our army caps out at 320 housing space. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned this, but we did get the 20% uh, boost. Oh, there's some elixir right here. What am I doing? Really? Why didn't I think of this? <laughs> Joe, you suck at spending sprees. This is what happens when you play free-to-play all the time, and then you're like, uh, yeah, I'm going to do a spending spree on Town Hall 15. Horrible idea. So when you upgrade the barracks at Town Hall 14, you unlock the Electro Titan. It was actually a 12 million elixir upgrade with the 20% off. And we're going to go ahead and do that and, and use the book of building to finish it off. You know what's really driving me crazy right now? All that gold. Let's go ahead and upgrade or build our new uh, defense. Let's just burn off some of that that gold because it's just driving me mad so we're gonna go ahead and upgrade our spell factory next and that's gonna cost 7.2 million elixir thankfully it is a cheaper upgrade and you can upgrade that at town hall 13 so let's do that using the book of building to complete that upgrade and that's gonna bring us down to 400,000 elixir and we're going to upgrade the pet house. Let's see if we can upgrade it four times. I really want to do it four times to unlock all four pets. We need more elixir, though. So it's a 16 million elixir upgrade. We might have to adjust what we upgrade next. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> doing this we're doing this i know that's completely stupid <laughs> but that was still not enough that was still not enough we need 16 million all right how much is this one okay we're gonna upgrade the workshop <laughs> we're trying to correct here we're trying to self-correct here so we're gonna upgrade the workshop to unlock the battle drill finish now with that book of building <laughs> this is so stupid <laughs> I will acknowledge this 100% horrible idea. And I didn't plan this out. I'm not going to lie to you because if I plan this out, if I genuinely sit down and type out all these numbers and stuff, I'm going to talk myself out of making this video. You know what I mean? All right. So we used a rune of elixir. We're up to 22 million elixir. And we're going to go ahead and upgrade our pet house to level six to unlock Diggy. 16 million elixir and the book of building to complete. Very nice. Which will bring us down to 6 million elixir. Oh, no. Come on. We need, what, 16.2 million? So let's spend off some gems like this on Elixir. I know a lot of you guys don't agree with this, but I need it. Okay, I need it. <laughs> we're, we're doing this. Now I feel better about spending another rune. That leaves us with 10 runes, which isn't bad because we can do an upgrade on the Electro Titan and also our Grand Warden. So 16.4 million Elixir to unlock the Phoenix. And there goes another and final book of building on the pet house. But let's go ahead and start upgrading some heroes. <laughs> and she is maxed within, what, less than a minute? This is why we stockpiled all these uh, magic items, by the way. That way I don't feel bad about it. Too insanely bad. And then the uh, the Grand Warden and Royal Champion. So let's try to get some more levels in the Royal Champion. Got four Dark Elixir runes. No, we can't stop at level 34. No. Bruh, look at this dude. So we got nine runes of elixir plus the one that's inside of the gold pass right now so that brings us up to 10 of course uh that will allow us to do five upgrades on the grand warden and finish him off and now the heroes are maxed out oh my gosh that's amazing i was looking for a rune of dark elixir and i realized that we don't have one but I think we had one in here. Hey, hey, there's the monolith. There's the monolith right there. Let's do the monolith. <laughs> the monolith level two is going to be quite 
game changing for a lot of attackers out there. You know what I mean? Like a lot of players are going to struggle against this defense at first until they start understanding, you know, drop that skeleton spell and stuff to kind of distract it. All right, here we go. Monolith level two, book of building complete. With the laboratory real fast, we're gonna kind of take a moment before we move into any defenses. And we're gonna upgrade our Electro Titan because I feel like, you know, within the first couple of weeks of this update being out, players are gonna be using that troop a lot and the bases are gonna to scramble to try to get caught up with the new meta and then they'll find a way to combat them. I can't wait to see what happens with it, but we're gonna go ahead and spend Elixir first and a book of fighting and then we're gonna upgrade with a hammer of fighting just like this and get that done. So we're fully maxed out with the Electro Titan on this account. That leaves us with 6.4 uh, 6 million Elixir. And, oh man, I'm telling you, this is this is just so stressful. It's so, <laughs> a lot of you guys are like, shut up, Joe. <laughs> He's spending all these resources. Oh, there we go, cool, this'll work. So six million Elixir on the recall spell. Very interested to see how this one plays out in the future. Book of spells to complete, just like that. Book of spells to complete. And then we're gonna use the hammer to complete this at level four for Town Hall 15. So the recall spell is complete. We still have some troops, obviously, that we need to upgrade. Uh, we might do miners. Miners might be useful, you know, with a hybrid and the new drill. But then we also have to upgrade that drill. Oh, speaking of the drill, look at that. Look at that, 6.4 million elixir. Talk about spending smart now all of a sudden. Look at you. All right, we're gonna go ahead and use a Book of Fighting to complete that upgrade. We still got two levels to go on that bad boy. We're gonna upgrade our jump spell, and we should probably do our heal spell as well. So let's do that, 13 million on that upgrade. Book of Spells complete, the jump spell is done, and that will leave us with no elixir yet again, 8.8 .8 million elixir. Oh man, we did not plan this out very well at all, did we? <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's just spend off some. Let's just spend off some gold. So we're gonna use a hammer or a book here. Finish that upgrade, and then we're gonna upgrade it again. Twelve million. Let's do some gold upgrades for once. I mean, we spent so much elixir and dark elixir. It's insane. Another book of building that is now level two. Fourteen point four million elixir or fourteen four point four million gold to upgrade it to unlock the invisibility. There we go. Both of our spell towers are complete. We're really gonna need a new base because I don't think I have one. I think we have a bunch of runes. So let's, oh, actually no, here we go. Here we go, I found it. I found it. Upgrading the Giga Inferno Tower to level two. <laughs> we found it, boys. We found a method of spending that wouldn't result in a very bad choice. 17 runes of gold. Oh, that's perfect. I went browsing around and I was trying to find a place to spend the gold that way I wouldn't waste a rune and I found that the battle drill could be upgraded for 8.8 .8 million elixir. Talk about the luck. Like that's exactly what we have. 8.8 .8 million elixir. How does that even how does that even happen, dudes? Are you kidding me? All right. So we got that one. Let's use another book. And now we can upgrade it one more time. We're completely out of elixir. That was perfect. Like the best use of a rune throughout this entire video is going to happen right now. We're going to get a full 22 million out of that rune, which was like, you know, not happening throughout this the whole process. And we're going to unlock our battle drill level se uh, level seven level four and is fully maxed out for town hall 15 so we can definitely use that i think we're gonna go ahead and upgrade uh hmm let's just do let's just do wizard wizard level 11 let's just do wizard level 11 like this and then i'm you know oh my gosh it's so tempting to press that book huh it's so, it's so temp I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it for now, and then later on tonight, I'll probably change my mind. All right, so we got uh, 6.2 million gold. Unfortunately, I don't think we have a lot of gold options in other places that we can... Actually, there was some in the treasury, huh? I just remembered the treasury. So there's a million right here. Any more? Is there any more gold? Okay, no. Let's go to our treasury and see what we got in there. Did we claim it? Ooh, 16, uh, 6.2. All right, we found a wizard tower. 15.3. Book done oh uh, god this, this is so hard I don't, I don't know what to do right now <laughs> i don't know what to do here we go 
you know what? It doesn't matter anymore. It just doesn't matter. We've already made so many bad decisions here. Let's just upgrade it. We're just going to do this. Gosh. Oh, we... All oh, right. We don't have to use a rune. Talk about the luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Going in and then doing uh, another Rune of Elixir. Not that bad with one point, so we lost 1.2. And we're going to go ahead and upgrade it to max. There it is. Our war weight is through the roof now. And dude, this thing is so pretty. And then we're going to try to hold on to five runes specifically for upgrades to continue. You know what I mean? So we got Inferno Towers done, Expo t Expo Towers, <laughs> the Expo is done, and we got one Wizard Tower done with a bunch of air defenses. Can we do another, yeah, let's do another one. They'll be back in like a couple days, right? Yeah, they're going to be back in like a week. Not a big deal. That gives me plenty of time to get back up in the Legends League. So there we go with our final upgrade on the wizard tower. All the wizard towers will be done in only two weeks.